Go ahead, Katie, and take it away. Jeremy. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Katie. I will be leading the, uh, this webinar that we'll be hold, hosting here on strengthening your workplace campaigns with the power of mobile. Um, so we're just going to get started here in about two more minutes. We want to make sure everybody has a chance to jump on. Uh, so you do have some time if you want to grab a quick cup of coffee uh, and then come back. Uh, we're going to get started here in just about two minutes with the presentation. Hi everyone, again this is Katie. Um, I work here at Mobile Cause and we'll be leading the webinar here in just a minute. Um, we're just giving everyone a, a, another minute to jump on here. Um, and so we'll, we'll get started. So just hold tight for another minute and the webinar will get started here shortly. Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Katie. I am the United Way Specialist here at Mobile Cause. I uh, welcome to the Strengthen the Workplace Campaigns with the Power of Mobile webinar. I'm excited to uh, be leading this with you today. Um, for those of you who have a, I haven't spoke with before, I am the United Way Specialist, so I work with every United Way that uses Mobile Cause um, on their various campaigns um, and provide best practices and strategy throughout the time that you use Mobile Cause. Uh, today, we are, uh, there are a variety of ways to use mobile cause, uh, but we're going to be discussing specifically how these can be used for your workplace campaigns, uh, the various use cases that we have seen, and then we'll be diving deeper into how to actually create that within your mobile cause account. So for those of you who have mobile cause, you'll have a, very much a how-to of how to create these forms. And for those of you who maybe haven't signed up with mobile cause yet, you'll see all of the capabilities um, for how you can use this within your workplace campaigns. Um, but before I, I get started into exactly the different use cases that we've seen within workplace, as well as um, how to set that up, I want to talk a little bit about our partnership with United Way. Um, so we do have, a, a, have an ongoing partnership that's been going for about two years now um, that provides um, United Way's a variety of resources within Mobile Cause um, from special pricing, um, but also uh, me basically to help you support you in your campaigns. Um, we also have a variety of United Way specific resources such as um, a case studies page um, and specific help videos um, throughout your time using Mobile Cause. Um, and we're very proud of this pr partnership. We've seen this uh, produce a lot of really great results um, with a lot of United Ways having um, building better relationships with their workplaces as well as within their communities. Um, so we're going to jump a little bit deeper into specifically the workplace examples. Uh, but if you can see in your, um, in your chat box, you can always, you're welcome to ask more questions um, throughout this webinar that hopefully we'll be able to cover to talk about other ways that this can be used. Um, and we'll also send out a, a little presentation that shows the variety of options uh, within Mobile Cause that you can use within all of your campaigns. Uh, we are recording this webinar, so we will send it out to everybody who has signed up so that they can receive it. Um, and there, again, there is a chat box on, uh, the, on your screen share. So uh, as, you having, as you have any questions, please feel free to type those in the chat box. We do have some people standing by to answer them. Uh, we will also have a question and answer session at the end of this to go over the specific um, aspects of mobile cause that we discussed here, um, as well as opening it up to general Q&A um, just, um, just about mobile cause and how it works. So with that, I'm going to get started here. Um, on my screen share, I'm going to just go through three use cases that we see typically for United Ways. Let me just pull that up here. 
Um, so we three, see three typical use cases for United Way's WIF workplace. We see um, a, a specific event, event that people will use um, our, our, um, our tools at. The idea is you're bringing your workplace together and having everybody give their donation all at once. So I'm going to walk through exactly what that looks like. We also have um, campaigns that are more social be media based that may be around a specific cause. Um, but we also have, and then we also have the, um, the final one, which is probably the one that people are most interested in, which is payroll deduction. Uh, so the one that I want to start with is the event fundraising. And that's what you'll see on your screen right now. So this is a, an actual live a thermometer that we have within Mobile Cause. So the idea here with the event fundraising thermometer and how you can use this with your workplace is that you can create this custom thermometer, upload images, add logos for your specific uh, company that you're working with, and you can create a very uh, specifically branded thermometer that you can display at an event. So say you're bringing your entire workplace together for a presentation, you can, you can project this, so then everybody can text in to see their donation um, to, to get a donation form on their cell phone. But more importantly, what this really does is it provides a way for, um, for everybody to be a part, see that they are a part of something larger than themselves. So you can actually text in to see this right now, and I would encourage you to do so. So if you can start a new text message to the number 40403, you'll see you're just following the, 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 um, the directions here at the top. So you'll start a text message to the number 40403, in the text message body, you can put the word campaign, that's spelled C-A-M-P-A-I-G-N, a space, the amount you'd like to donate, a space in your name, and text that in, and you'll see your donation immediately appear on this thermometer. So the idea is at your event with your workplace, you can bring everybody together in real time to see what uh, to show on this thermometer so that people can see they're a part of something bigger, they can see their names scroll, and their thermometer will go up in real time with the amount that you want to donate. And again, you can donate any amount, and if you're just testing this right now, don't worry, it, this is all pretend, you, can just, uh, you don't have to worry about actually completing the donation. Um, but it's a really great way to see how quick and easy you can get your workplaces engaged, so you can make it a very fun and engaging event for them. Um, then you'll notice once you, uh, once you have texted in, you're brought, to, you get a thank you, or you get a text message that says, thank you for your pledge, click here to complete your donation. Uh, for those of you who haven't texted in, I'll show you the donation form on the cell phone here, or on my screen share. So you just click that link and you're brought to a, oh, wrong one. Uh, and you're brought to a donation form that is fully customizable. Uh, so you can put your logo, you can update it with your logo and your company's logo. You can put in these specific amounts. You'll notice if you texted in a certain amount with your text message, it auto-filled with the amount that you texted in. So I saw some people committed to $500, which is great. So you'll notice that your amount automatically fills with $500. Uh, and then you can choose how often you'd like to donate that amount. So people can do a one-time donation if that's what your company would prefer, but you can also encourage people to do monthly, quarterly, or even annual donations. And from there then, all of the information that's on here is really up to you. It's fully customizable. Um, so we just have the, plain, the, the generic um, contact information for people to fill in. But if you need gift designations or that company wants to uh, partner with specific agencies, something like that, you can add that information on here. And that's something we're going to dive a little bit deeper in here um, as well uh, a little bit later on is how exactly do you set up this form and how does that work. So that's something we'll get to once we go through all of the use cases, uh, but there is a lot of way, there are a variety of ways to customize this to really fit your needs. And you'll notice everything's updating in real time. So as you guys have texted in, we'll just go back to our thermometer that we had scrolling. Now we started with just $1,100 raised and we're already over $2,000, which is great with everybody who's texted in. Uh, and those donations, you can complete those. Um, well, you don't have to complete those since it's just a webinar. But once those donations go through with that information, you're, you have those reports in real time, which is something, again, we'll look at later. Um, and, but what's really nice about this, and I think the most exciting part that I really want to make sure you get, is that once people text into you, uh, you have their cell phone number that, so that you can continue to engage them. And that is something we'll, we'll dive into later, how 
we're using texting in all of these different use cases, and how you can use that throughout your campaign and even afterwards to engage all of these employees uh, with, with mobile and making sure that they're excited not just about their workplace campaign, but about United Way in general and becoming a sustainable donor and a sustainable volunteer outside of, of that annual workplace campaign. So this is one really great example just of how you can text in and create a very exciting moment at, um, during a, a workplace event. Um, but I just also want to add here that we have seen United Ways use this really successfully at um, galas or luncheons, like uh, Women United Luncheon, is, is we, we see a variety of United Ways using this, as well as um, just with your various affinity groups or um, just any kind of, uh, we, we see it a lot at kickoff events as well. Um, so there's a lot of places that you can use this. Even though we're talking specifically about workplace, you can adapt it for any situation that you really need um, and make it a really fun and exciting moment for your constituents. So that's one example of a, of a common use case that we see with the workplace campaigns. And again, as you're, we're, we're recording everything that, so you'll be able to reference this later. And make sure if you have any questions that you're putting those into the chat box as well so that we can answer them throughout this time. So the next example I want to go to is say that you're working with a, a workplace and they're not so much they, they're a newer company that you're, you wanna, you're getting involved in, and they don't necessarily want to do payroll deduction. They're really more interested in focusing their cause around a specific cause, uh, or fo focusing their fundraising around a specific cause, or they, they really just don't want to get the HR department involved. They really want to focus on credit card donations. That is completely fine, and we have a really great option for that as well. Um, we call it crowdfunding, and I'm going to show you on my page here, just bring up this example. So the idea with crowdfunding is it is a landing page that you can easily share over social media. You can email to your constituents um, as well as text to. So you have every option because really within mobile cause, even though we talk about texting a lot, all we're doing is creating links that be can, can be seen very quickly and easily over any type of device. Um, so these are links that you can, you can just email this link to your company, and they can share, email it out to every, every employee so that they can begin sharing and, and raising money. So with crowdfunding, what you'll see is we have a general progress towards the goal. Um, so you, have, you can upload your pictures here. You can put in the messaging around, um, around your company's needs, what they're hoping to do so that it's all very easily updated with whatever they need. You can even add an, an additional logo on here so that it has, it's represented with your company's logo. Everything can be fully branded with the colors of United Way or the, the branding of your company. So then people can easily, once they come to this page, you can click on Make a Donation. So then I go to this nice, easy donation form that we, you saw a similar one before when you were texting in, all customizable with the information that you'd like so people can easily make a donation. They can also sign up to become a fundraiser, which I'm going to dive in a little bit more into here. But they can also share it over social media. So just by clicking on the Share button, you'll see I have the option to share over Facebook, Twitter, email. And then even if I'm on a cell phone, you'll see now I can share over text message as well. So it's very easy for these constituents to share wherever they'd like. And you can even fully customize the message that's being shared. So when I click on my Facebook option, you'll see my, um, my Facebook pops up, and it says, I'm fundraising for United Way webinars. It's an amazing organization. Everybody, please check out my campaign. You can customize that to say whatever you'd like um, so that it's easy for your constituents or these, comp or these employees who are helping out. They don't have to come up with something that's a really good donation ask. You can start them off with something so that, that your campaign is just that much more successful. So super easy to customize. So at, the employees can easily share this wherever they'd like. And then if you want to, what we see often with companies is that you want to create it, uh, you want to create something really fun and maybe a bit of a competition with them. So you could even have different teams. So looking on this page, I'm just going to click on the View Supporters section. And you'll see we have a couple different departments competing here. We just have the HR department and the marketing department. So I can click on the marketing department specifically. 
and they have their own page, so then I can become a fundraiser for their, their page. I can sign up to join specifically the marketing department's um, page. So if I work in the marketing department, I can share this page. So then all the donations going through here are being attributed specifically to the marketing department, specifically towards our goal and what we're ho hoping to do. Um, and that way it creates a sense of competition. So then when I go back to this page here, where it shows all the different fundraising teams. It can show the amount raised, so then the company um, every, and everybody internally can uh, get a little bit more excited. They say, well, you know, we don't want to be beat, beat by the marketing department. We want to raise money. Um, we've seen uh, United Ways or companies in general, they'll have uh, the leaders of each department will say, well, if we reach our goal, I'll dye my hair blue or, or silly things like that to really help instill a sense of competition. And it can be super fun uh, to inspire the employees and really get them engaged so then they can reach their overall goal. But all of this is very quick and easy to set up so that what you can even do is you can add an offline donation so that the money can be raised as well. Um, so just to give a little quick sneak peek into um, the actual mobile cause platform, say this company is like, well, you know what, we want to add a little extra incentive for people to get excited. So we're going to match all of the donations up to $5,000. And you're like, well, that's great, and we want to add that $5,000 that's coming in, but it may not be coming in through credit card. Not a problem at all. I'm just going to go into my little mobile cause account over here. And you'll see I have this company crowdfunding campaign. You can see the type of campaign I have right here. And I'll click on company. And I have just this enter offline donations section where I can say, you know what? I want to add in my $5,000 here so that our company, since I don't have a company name for this at this time, our company is going to donate $5,000 to match. So then I enter that donation, and say it's paid at an event, and it's going to go to the main page. So then when I go back to our main page here, you'll notice right now it says zero raised, but if I just reload this page, now we're up to $5,000 raised. So it's really quick and easy for you to attribute these additional donations that the company might be helping support with, or maybe if you have um, a matching donation or checks coming in, things like that. You can easily track all of that information in your crowdfunding campaign so the progress towards the goal is, is still there and still, um, still happening even though it may not be a credit card donation. But then people can easily go share this over their own social media, email, text message, uh, to make a donation and have that money all show up in real time on your account. So this is a very cool way to engage your newer companies who maybe want to focus around a specific cause um, or just want to add additional fundraising throughout the year. Um, we've definitely seen that as well. It's a very fun, very easy um, tool to set up and, and is included. Uh, and again, this tool, even though we're talking about workplace campaigns, we do see it used in a variety of other platforms uh, or for other cause, uh, causes throughout the year with United Ways, including, including Stuff the Bus um, or for your imagination libraries, um, things like that. So you can raise money uh, for these specific um, cause campaigns as well as with your workplace campaigns as well. So that's a really cool tool. Um, but the, now I really want to dive into the super traditional um, or the traditional way of um, raising money with companies, which is just payroll deduction. Pretty simple here. Um, so we have created a nice little workplace uh, giving form that is mobile friendly. So here's the example I have set up here. So you'll, you'll notice again, uh, we have an active link. So this is a link that can be emailed to the employees at the company. They, it can be texted to them. Um, they can, it can be shared over social media, if that makes sense. Um, but people can also text into it. So if you do want to uh, – so we'll go over how to create that keyword as well. Um, but you, basically your employees can get to these, uh, this form, whatever makes the most sense for them, and you can easily turn it into um, a very engaging form. So what we've done here on this form is the first thing we did was we, we put the logo at the top, and again, you can add your company's logo on here as well so that it's a, a dual logo um, section at the top. Um, you can, we've also added a video. 
So the idea here is if you're emailing it to people, um, they can be immediately engaged with your campaign video. They don't have, if they didn't make your, your presentation, they can still see that campaign video at the top. So you can easily embed that on your form. Uh, and then what you can even do is rather than creating all these forms for different companies, we have a drop down menu here. So I can select my company. So I can say, oh, I work with IBM. That's the company that I work with. And how much would I like to donate per pay period? Well, I'd like to just give a $5 donation for pay period. So I'll enter that amount in. And you'll notice below here, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to make sure everybody can see it, we've added this special field that says, that says your donation will provide programs that support the number of families below. So that way, as I'm selecting my company and the amount that I want to donate, our system on the back end is adjusting to those pay periods and that amount. So I'm saying 48, like, well, I'm so close to 50 families, I want to help them. So I'll just add, change my donation from $5 per pay period to $7 per pay period. And now I know that I'm helping 67 families. So it's a really fun and engaging way to get your um, constituents excited or your, the employees excited about how much they can donate, what that's really going to help support within your community. So they just select their company, they select the, the amount that they want to donate, and then they can just fill in the rest of the information below. So again, this information is all up to you. We've left it with the default um, first name, last name, email. So I can just put in my first name, last name, email address and fill out any other information here and then click Give Now. So I'll just put that in here. So all I have to do is put in my information, click Give Now. My donation has, uh, uh, has been processed, so they go to this thank you page that says thank you, your information has been saved. And then I've added this little message on here as well that says your donation allows us to provide valuable resources to our community. Thank you for helping us live united. So it's, very, uh, it's a very simple, quick and easy process for them to go through, very engaging along the way. So that way you don't have to completely t uh, move away from your, your payroll deduction campaigns to make them mobile friendly. Um, we can just add these n this new technology to it to make it a little bit easier for your, um, for your constituents um, to set up and to work with and to be engaged. So now that we've gone through that form and what it looks like, I want to show you how easy it is to, um, to create in here. So I'm going to go back into this mobile cause account that we've created, and I'm just going to go back to my dashboard. So to set this up, it's pretty quick and easy. We, whenever you're starting to set up anything else with anything within Mobile Cause, we just set, we click on Setup in the top toolbar. And for this, we're using our text to donate keyword because we're, we can link to it and we can email it out, but we also want people to be able to text to it as well. So I'm just going to click on Text to Donate. And my keyword, I always want something that's easy to remember and hard to misspell. So I'm going to choose the keyword deduction. And then my campaign, I'm going to attribute it to my payroll deduction webinar in August 2016. But the campaign's really just for your internal use to track activity. So for me, it makes sense to call it the payroll deduction webinar. You could call it Eli Lilly uh, uh, workplace campaign or workplace campaign 2016, whatever makes the most sense for you. So then we go to our short codes. What's really exciting is as the United Way, you do have your own specific short codes that are only used for United Way. So I'm going to choose that short code, it's 40403. And that's really all I need to set up in order to have this uh, keyword live. Everything else is just to make it a little bit more easier for your own personal experience. So we have this custom message. I can say, your donation helps us live united put caps lock on the wrong way there. Your donation helps us live united. So you can add any additional messaging on there. You can see we tell you how many characters you have left just below there. Then you have these additional features here. So if you need people to receive a notification every time that someone has completed a, a payroll deduction, you can click that as well. And then I just click Save. 
And just that quickly and easily, my campaign is, my keyword is live. So people can begin texting in to receive this payroll deduction form. The only thing that I really need to do from here is just customize it for what I want um, the form to look like. And so to do that, I just go on this left-hand side and click on online forms. And so when I'm in this form section, it, I just have each section that I can go through and update information as I, I need. So we'll start with the simple stuff. Let's start with the logo. So if I click on Upload, I'll just go to my United Way webinar logo, and I have my United Way logo right there that I'll just upload. So I like to make sure the logo is uploaded first because logos are, are very important. If you do nothing else, always make sure you upload a logo. Um, that way people feel confident they're on the right the right page. So then once I update a logo, I'll also update um, this background image as well that I want people to see. So I'll just click on here, upload a background image. I really like my United Way volunteer picture. It's very active, very engaging. So you'll notice you don't see the background image immediately because on this, uh, on this example we have to the right, it's just showing what it looks like on a cell phone. But if I were to open my form up, here I'll just click on this display link to see what it looks like live currently. You will see it's updating in real time, so my background image is there even though it's not showing up on our cell phone example. So now I've put in my logo, I've put in my background image. Now what I'm gonna do is go to the suggested amount section so that um, here it's currently set up for a credit card donation, but since I'm just going to use this for payroll deduction. I'm just going to actually change it from this payment type at the top to a non-payment type. So now it updates in real time. So those suggested amounts are, are coming off of the page. And now I'm just going to go back in there, though, because I like that section since it's at the top, to put in my, my payroll deduction information. So I'm going to add a custom field, and the first field that I really want on there is the, um, a drop-down menu. So I click on Add Custom Field, and then I select Drop-down Menu. And I want this to be all the different companies that I worked this with so they can choose between them. So I'm going to title my drop-down menu, Please Choose Your Employer. And then I can just go in and add each item. So I can put in IBM, FedEx, and we'll put Eli Lilly. We have each item. So you see I was just adding them one at a time, but we also do have the option where you can upload a CSV if you do have a number of uh, organizations that you're working with uh, for this. So if you have like 20 or 30 companies that you want in here, Rather than typing each one in, you could just upload a CSV file. So you'll notice that we have the selectable items, which means what is actually on the, um, what people actually see in the drop-down menu. The item value is what you, uh, is information that you can get on the back end um, when people choose this. So in this case, what I'm going to use the item value as is the number of pay periods. So IBM, I know, has 26 pay periods. And then I know that FedEx has 24 pay periods, and I, Eli Lilly has 12 pay, period, pay periods. So I'll know that when they choose IBM, that's 26 pay periods, FedEx is 24, Eli Lilly is 12. So that's what those refer to, that these are what the, they will select, but then it will automatically tell our system that that should be counted as 26 or 24, or however many pay periods that they have. And then I can look at this. Um, and I'm like, oh, you know what, I really want all of these in alphabetical order, so I'm just going to drag Eli Lilly to the top and then FedEx, so they're now in alphabetical order rather than just randomly placed. So now that I have that set, I'll just click Save. And you'll see, again, it's updating in real time, so choose your employer below is now right on that form. The next thing I want is for them to actually be able to edit, add in their payroll deduction. So I'll just click on another Add Custom Field. And this time I'm going to choose a text box because I want them to be able to write in the information. So I'm going to say, how much 
would you like to donate per pay period? And then I'm going to check the number box since I know they'll be entering in a number, and then I'm going to want to use that here in just a second. So then I click Save. And now the last thing that I need here is I want to be able to show them exactly what their donation is going towards. So what I'm going to do here is make this its own special section in a super easy way just clicking by clicking on Add Move Section. And I'm going to move it just below the suggested amount so that it will appear, appear underneath everything. And I'm going to call it an Impact Calculator since it will show our constituents exactly how much their donation is going towards. So I'll call it my impact calculator, and I'll click Save. Again, this is updating in real time, so my impact calculator section is immediately there. So now I'm going to click on it. You'll notice it's right about uh, below the suggested amounts that I've already put in there. And I'm just going to add my custom field again here and make it a calculated field. Because the calculated field, what that really means is you're just telling our system that we should do math of some kind. Pretty simple. So it could be for ticketing. It could be um, for something else. In this case, it's going to be for our impact calculator so people know exactly what the um, money is going towards. So what should I call my, type, my field? Let's call it Families Helped. Or yeah, let's call it Families Helped. And then I'm going to check that I want to show the results on form, so that way the, um, everybody can see the results immediately just below there. And then I'm not going to show it as an amount, because I want to show the number of families that are helped here, not um, the donation amount. But if you wanted to, you could have it so that it's showing the annual donation or something of that nature. So then all I have to do here is actually create the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my little equation. I'm going to put a parentheses, choose your employer, which is our drop-down menu, times the how much you would like to donate, and then close my parentheses. And then I'm just going to enter in one of the impact statistics that I have, which I believe it costs 250 to help um, uh, to provide a certain service to a family. So I'm just going to then divide it by 250. So now that that's entered, I just click Save. And you'll see it immediately appears on our form. And then I'm just going to change the section heading here so it says, your donation helps the number of families below. Helps the number of families each year below. So just that quickly and easily, our form is updating in real time. So now if I go back to our form that we created, oops, I'll click on View Online Form here. Now you'll see very already I have this live link that I can click on, I am Eli. I work for Eli Lilly. I want to donate $5 per pay period. I'm going to help 24 people, 24 families this year. So it's all ready to be used for you, so, um, completely live, um, and I realize the now the only thing that we don't have on here that was on our previous form was that video. So the only that, that's all we have left to add. So I'm just going to go back to our form that we had created before. And I'm just going to copy this URL video. Copy video URL so that I have that. So to put our final touch on here, I'm just going to add one last section but just by clicking on the Add Move section, put it right at the top and call it Engagement Video. Click Save. You'll see it updates right on here, so it's right above Suggested Amounts. So then I can just click Add on my custom field, select which field I want to choose. I'll choose my Video field, and then I just paste that link that I had copied from the video before. Name for video field, campaign video 2016. And then I click Save. And so you'll see my videos on there. And it just has that section heading at the top. 
So I could change it to say something if I want to say, please cl click below, but I'm just going to take the section heading away. So now just that easy, just that quick, we have a fully, our form is ready to take any, any uh, process any donations here. So again, I'm going to just click on view online form. Now you'll see it's all updated live. It has the video, please choose your employer, the calculated field that we have, and then these sections below. So if I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, you know what, I really need to make sure I get their first name, last name, and email. That's the most important thing. Now I can go back into our section here, our, our uh, mobile cause account, click on contact information, and I'll say, oh yeah, I need to make sure require first name, require last name, and require email address. That way I can make sure to keep in touch with them. Go back to our little form, reload it, and it's all updated so that's, those sections are required. Um, and that's what's really nice about mobile cause and these forms is you can change these in real time so they're immediately updating and immediately able to be used. So now you have a live link that your companies can email out um, to their constituents, but also if it makes sense for you, for you, if you're doing a big presentation, you can have them text into it. So again, you can text into this right now if you'd like to try it. Um, if you want, just want to receive it on your form, you just text the word deduction to the number 40403. I'm highlighting it here on my mobile cause account. But you'll just start a new text message. It'll go to the number 40403. And then in the text message body, just text the word deduction. And then you'll receive uh, this pledge form on your cell phone. So it's super quick and easy to set up. And again, if you have any questions, please make sure to type those into the chat so that um, we can, our team can answer those questions as we're going through. And then we'll also open it up to um, question and answer afterwards, uh, the question and answer session afterwards. Um, so there's one more thing I want to go over because it's really talking about enhancing your, uh, your experience with your companies. So we've gone over how you can use this at events how you can use this um, with your newer companies, and how you can also um, add new technology into uh, your companies that you're really already working with, so that they, may or, they just want to keep doing pay, standard payroll deduction. And this can make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more exciting, and make it easier for you to capture this information. Because um, a big question here I'm sure everybody has is, how do you actually download this information now that you have it? So we just have this report section in the top toolbar. So you can click on reports, and you can go to the non-payment section for your, for your information. And then you can sort by start date, end date, the keyword, whatever you need to sort by, and just export this information. So then I can choose the particular fields that I need in this export. So I can show first name, last name, oh, I need phone number, email address, I need all of that, I need to know which com company they uh, have donated with and how much they want to donate per pay period. And that's really all I need from this form. So you can select any fields that you need and then just click download. And it downloads very, very quickly as a report. Let me just drag it back onto the proper area. So now we have all of the information here for you to use. It's a really quick and easy report for you to use, so you can download your non-payment information. You can do the same thing in the collected donations section. We don't have any donations here because this is just a demo account, but the idea is as you're getting the, these credit card donations, everything updates in real time so you can export the information in real time. So it makes the idea, the transferring of data, you no longer have to deal with the, the paper pledge forms. It's all electronic, so it's a much cleaner and easier process for um, the actual people donating. Um, it also makes it easier for you to track all of those records. And the one additional feature that we, we brought up a little bit earlier and I want to revisit is that if you're using uh, the payroll deduction form where we were texting deduction to 40403, when you get those companies to text in to receive it on their cell phone, all of those companies have now been subscribed to receive text messages with you. So later on, say at the end of your campaign, you're really excited by how much money that you've been able to bring in. 
we can just go to that Send Messages section in the top toolbar. So I'm going to choose Messages, click on Send Message. The message, message title will put Thank You, Thank You to Company Donors. The message title is just for my records. The campaign just for my records as well, so I'm going to put it with my payroll deduction webinar for 2016. And I'm going to say, United Way, um, because of supporters like you, we, United Way, raised $300,000 to support families in our community. Thank you for your help. Or it can say thank you for your help, or you can even link to something. So it's, cause you could say, click to see how this um, builds a stronger community. Oops. Click to, we'll just say click to learn more. Let's do that. Click to learn more, and then we can say www.facebook. Com. So then you can link to your social media pages, so you can have articles. You can also just put um, – oh, I really spelled that wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but you can put any information in there that you need, so you can just give specific, specific statistics um, so that you're keeping people engaged throughout the year, so you can tell them how much money you've raised. Um, you can also get them just excited about um, what you're doing throughout the year, just giving monthly updates. Or maybe if you want to start bringing them into the volunteer fold to get them engaged with United Way outside of the workplace campaign, you can start them to let them know about other United Way events as well. Um, so text messaging is just a really great way to get people excited, get people engaged, because they are read 98% of the time, and often they're read within th um, three minutes. So you can create your text message here, letting them know what you've been up to. So because of supporters like you, United Way is three raise $300,000 to support families in our community, click to learn more, direct them to their social media, so now you're engaging them with social media. Uh, I'm going to select what short code I want to send it to. I'm going to send it to my four zero, from my 40403 short code, since that's what they've texted into in the past. My message, I'm going to schedule it immediately. And then the list that I'm going to send it to, I'm going to put it to deduction and campaign. So all of you who have texted in to my, um, the, the examples that I showed earlier will receive this text message on your cell phone. So I can choose any list of people that you want. Um, there's also, you'll see we could send it to other people if you, we really wanted to and upload other lists. Um, it's not a problem at all. Um, our, our system, you can upload any list of numbers you want, and we'll tell you which ones are cell phones and which ones aren't. But you can also be more specific and just engage with people who have texted into you through various campaigns. So I'm just going to choose the, everybody who texted into deduction and campaign, select those two lists there, and then click Schedule Message. And you'll see now it's getting ready to go out. So it'll just stay, stay here in the scheduled series um, until it, it goes out. But you guys, it just takes a minute or so, so you guys should be re receiving it on your cell phone too. But then you'll notice here we also have an outbox and an inbox, so we can always keep track of the text messages that we have sent in the past, um, and then the text messages that um, have come into us as well. And I do see a message on here, um, a great question about will people be able to unsubscribe from text messages? And that is a, um, a very good question. We do uh, handle all of those compliance, um, that, those compliant issues, compl those issues with remaining compliant for you. So everybody has the option to text stop to unsubscribe at any time. Um, you'll notice when you receive this message and when you initially signed up, um, when you texted in, you'll, there's just a messaging at the bottom of each text message that says text help for help and stop to unsubscribe. And once you text stop, you would be unsubscribed from the list. Um, but, and that's something we can work with you on too. If, if you, um, we're always happy, my job here is to really provide best practices and strategies so that your text messages are super engaging, so that you're keeping really excited about people excited about your cause so that they don't text in. Um, but we would ha handle the, any, um, if anybody did want to unsubscribe, it's very easy for them to unsubscribe themselves and it always updates in real time. Yeah. 
So now you'll see I'm going to go to my scheduled section. You'll notice that my message has gone away now, so it should be it's going, being sent out to everybody. And now it's showing up in my outbox so that I just have my thank you to company donors so that I always have it as a reference. So I can next year when I'm like, oh, what did we do with our companies last year? I can go back and see like, oh, we sent them a message just letting them know that we had raised $300,000 to support families. So it's super quick, super easy to set up. Um, you can schedule them in advance. Uh, that's something actually I want to highlight one more of. So if I go back to the send message area, you'll notice I can schedule these as far in advance as I'd like. So I can put them weeks, months in advance so that you never have to worry about this. You don't have to send it out immediately. If you were using this with volunteers to remind them about their volunteer shift, um, you, could you could schedule it for Friday evening and, or Saturday morning just to remind them about parking directions. And you can schedule that on a Tuesday afternoon so that you don't have to worry about doing it on a Saturday morning. You can just focus on setting up for your event. So it's very quick, very easy to use so that you can continue to engage your donors and constituents um, outside of the, the workplace campaign. So that's an overview of the case studies that we really see United Ways using that we recommend using within workplace campaigns. Again, just as a refresher for everything that we went over, we talked about sending messages, um, but we also have that fundraising thermometer uh, that people can text into. I'm just going to find that fundraising thermometer here. So you can have a fundraising thermometer for people to text into if your company prefers credit card donations and really just want to make it a single event. So you can have a fundraising thermometer for your events. You can also have your crowdfunding campaigns, which we have here, so that your companies can compete against each other um, or easily share it over social media to get involved if your, some companies would be more interested in doing something of that nature, specifically cause-related. And then we also have our normal pay, your, your, uh, payroll deduction campaigns that you can just make a little bit more engaging, a little bit more exciting, and capture more information so that you can keep those constituents engaged long-term and outside of the workplace campaigns. So those are all of the, the tools that are available to you and an overview of them. So now we do have a little bit of time left here. And I'm going to go through some of our questions here. Again, this webinar has been recorded, so if, you, um, if later on you want to go back through it to, to create your own keywords uh, or your own forms, we will make this avail available, available to you. Um, and if you do have any questions, just make sure you can um, click in the chat box to answer your question or to ask any questions. So I'm just going to go through some of the questions here. Hey Katie, this is Jeremy. One one question hey, that continues to one question that continues to come up that I don't know exactly how to answer is uh, one uh, when somebody fills out their uh, a, a company fills out their contact uh, information and they set up a workplace giving campaign. How does that actually get to the payroll company? I know that process is different for different United Ways. Could you speak to that? Sure, absolutely. So for how the information will get to the company, um, you'll want to download a report. So I'm going to, I'll just walk through that process here. So we'll go back into our Mobile Cause account. And we have this report section in the top toolbar. So as people are filling out their information, you can just click on reports. And you'll go to the non-payment section because you're using a non-payment form. Um, the other reports we have are for credit card donations. So as um, we have collected credit card donations, uh, pre pending credit card donations, pledged credit card donations, as well as recurring donations. That's where you can pull all of those reports. Non-payment is anything, anytime you're using our forms for, to collect information that doesn't require credit card um, form, such as payroll deduction. So you'll notice you can just filter here according to date, according to keyword, and then you just click on export on this far right side. You'll choose the different columns that you want to collect. So I have first name, last name, phone number, address, email, which company they work with and how much they want to donate. So you could add additional information like short code, keyword if you wanted to, whatever information that you need on here. Um, it's really up to you. You can even select all the fields if you want. We can select all, and if you just want to have all of it to sort through, no problem. So then we can just download that information. So 
then once it downloads, it's just going to download into a CSV for you to use. Um, it's very quick and simple. It's just a, an Excel document. So then you can format it for what your company needs, delete any um, sections that maybe they don't, and then send it to them. And you'll see we have that up, pulled up here where we have our example um, where it's just a CSV document. So then I can just save it for whatever, if I wanted to save it as a company information. Um, but then you have this just a nice, easy Excel document to email to your company employees or your companies, excuse me. So then you would email it to the HR department for them to use to actually uh, complete the payroll deduction. And here's the, here's the larger one. Then you have all these different sections that you can just format it as you need and then send it off to the HR department. And the same thing goes for your donations if you have, um, if you're getting credit card donations from a com company, and they can, um, you can go and always go into the collected donations section and um, download information if they want to know who in their company has donated or you need it for some other purposes, you can always export information there as well. And I saw uh, a question on here. Can you set it up so that HR gets a copy every time someone um, pledges? Absolutely. Um, so that's something we set up earlier. So I'm just going to click on our dashboard here to go back to our main page. And this is actually a really good example of You've created your forms, and now you're finding there's little things that need to change about your forms later on. You can always edit everything. So I'm just going to go to our dashboard, then go back to our active keywords section, and then click on deduction for 40403 since that's the campaign that we've been working on. And you'll see when we're on the setup keyword page, we, have, we can change the keyword if we need to, change the campaign, change the thank you message. But specifically to enable notifications, you can just set up, change this email notification on donation to enable, and then choose the email addresses that um, you would like it to be sent to. And you can always add more email addresses on there. Um, so if you just want someone from the HR department to be notified anytime someone makes a donation, um, for every any time someone makes a donation, you can choose it. So then that you can just click Save, and they would receive a notification. That way they can stay up to date. So it's absolutely no problem. And you can also do this with the credit card donations as well. So just as an example for um, to reiterate, let's go back to our dashboard, and we'll go to our um, our campaign that we used with the fundraising thermometer. So we click on campaign. Um, this is where we use the fundraising thermometer for everybody to text in. And you'll notice we have the same option here. So I can just enable notifications on donation. And I can say, oh, I really want Jeremy to get the notifications for this one, and click Save. So that way you can specify no, not everyone has to receive every single one. But if people just want it for specific campaigns, you can absolutely enable it so that somebody gets a notification um, for every donation made. No problem. So everything's super, very easy to set up and, um, and can be adapted to whatever your needs are. Again, you can add the different, um, the different fields onto your form so that you're collecting any information that your company needs or any information that your, um, you need yourself as a united way. And what I really want to emphasize is we, we created this whole form. It took us about 15 minutes just walking through and adding all of that information. So you can, adding that video and adding the drop-down menu, adding how much um, they want to donate. So you can create your forms very quickly and very easily for your companies um, to make these live. That's a question I often get is, well, what, what does it really take to create the form? How long will it take to get us set up? The hardest part is just deciding which logo you want at the top. And once you know that information, we can walk we, you have this video now to walk you through how to set it up. I'm always here to fully support you so we can walk through your first form together to make sure you're feeling comfor really comfortable and confident in setting it up and making sure it meets your needs. Um, that's my job here is just to provide best practices and strategy to really make sure you are as successful as you can possibly be. Um, I really enjoy working with all of the United Ways. You guys do such great work, uh, and it's fun to work with you on our products to make sure that they're meeting your goals, your needs, and that you're being as successful as possible. 
Um, that's our goal. It's, it's pretty simple. We just want to create tools and products that will help you um, so you don't have to completely change everything you're doing um, just because you know, we're moving further into technology. Um, you can still do payroll deduction and have just a friendlier, more mobile-friendly um, version so that your practices can adapt with the new technology and you can continue to engage new supporters and keep them excited um, throughout your campaign. All right, so we're, we just have a couple more minutes here. So if everybody, if you have, do you have any last minute questions, please make sure to type those in the chat here. And so one was typed in that, can this also handle specific agency designations for gifts or pledges? And the answer is yes, it absolutely can. So when we were creating the, the, uh, the form earlier and we're, we were adding all of those custom fields, even though we were titling those, um, here, let's, let's just go in and do that right now so everybody can see it. So I'll just go back into my deduction keyword and click on the online form. So I've set it up with the video and everything, but now I want to add in just another section. Uh, I'll just go to the suggested amounts, and I'll call this, um, I'd say I just have a bunch of agencies that I work with. We, you can add in a drop-down menu that says um, choose gift designation below. Uh, so you can title it whatever you'd like, and then you can just add in each agency, or again, you can upload a CSV of all of the agencies that you work with so that your companies can choose the, the gift designation below. If you don't want to do gift designations, you don't have to. You don't have to put that on there, but it is an option if you do need any information like that. Um, you, can put, you can just add in those custom fields, and that will all export in the report that we looked at earlier. Because really, our forms are, are very customizable. That's really what I want to emphasize. You can turn these into whatever you want. So we can add drop-down menus. You'll see we also have, let's just look at all the custom fields we have. So we have a text box um, so people can write in, like if the donation's in honor of someone or anything like that, um, they can type in that information. Videos, images, um, you can even add dates in there. So if, pe if you need to collect people's birth date, you can. All of these fields are up to you, and you can tr turn them into um, anything that you'd like. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for how to get it set up. Um, again, if let me just put up my contact information here. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help um, with your um, with your specific campaign needs. If you are a um, mobile cause, uh, if you are a mobile cause customer already, um, I'm here to help support you. Um, if you aren't a mobile cause customer, feel feel free to reach out to me, and I can direct you to one of our um, representatives talk more. Um, we have a variety of pricing available to you. So the United Way basic plan does start off at $1,100 annually with a 2.5% transaction fee. Um, so it's just uh, $1,100, but there's a lot of things included within that. And then there's more plans go from there depending on what your needs are, um, what your needs for your, your companies and everything are. Um, so feel free to email me with any questions that you have. Again, if you are a United Way that is already signed on with how to get started, um, if you haven't signed on with Mobile Cause yet, feel free to email me as well, and we can get any other questions answered for you. Um, so my information is on the screen. If you can't see it, my email is katie, K-A-T-I-E, at mobilecause.com. Uh, and my um, you can also text for my um, business card as well. You can just text Katie to 51555 to receive my information as well. Um, but thanks for everyone for joining the webinar. It was really lovely speaking with you, and I, I look forward to working with everybody uh, who, uses, who um, is excited to use MobileCause. Have a great day.